Hi everybody, this is Big Anglovich. I bet you forgot about me because I haven't done a show in forever. That's pretty lame. But, uh, not that you forgot about me, but that I haven't done a show in so long. But, uh, yeah, here I am again. Ankle cast. Um, talking about what's going on. Uh... Since my my uh, half marathon, I think that was right. The last time I did a show was when I uh, talked about that. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's it's been interesting. I've been kind of discouraged. I've been almost not running whatsoever. Um, because uh, after I I did my half marathon, my feet were hurting a lot when I would run. Um. I find myself limping afterwards uh, because of of pain that I was getting, and so I thought, okay, I need to do something to uh, to lose some weight and make it hopefully so that my my legs can handle holding me up a little better. My feet won't hurt so much when I run. Uh, I don't know if I did what was necessary. I did lose some weight, though. I worked on it. I ate very, very little. <laughs> Which was so awesome. And uh, I've lost about 15 pounds. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm up gonna start running and trying to ramp it up again. Uh, starting this week, um, see if I can get to where I can handle, uh, doing a marathon in the end. After all, me and my sister decided that we would change the marathon that we were going to run from, uh, one that was happening in September to one that was happening in October. To see if that, uh, helps, giving ourselves more time to prepare. See what state I'm in. I'm hoping that I'm not in a hopeless state um, when I go out and start running again. I'm hoping I haven't waited, you know, relaxed and laid off of it for too long and gotten myself to the point where, uh, you know, I, I waited too long and therefore don't have enough time to get up to the kind of lengths that it's going to take to be able to run a marathon by October. <sighs> I guess we'll see. But yeah, I was uh, I was really discouraged. It was hard um, after having run that um, half marathon and I was so proud of myself and so excited for having done it and so excited for the future of, you know, heading onwards. And then, yeah, my feet just started to hurt every time I would run, and uh, I was really frustrated, and I was about ready to just freaking give up. Um, I nearly did, but I, I I still have the plan that I will run a marathon, and I will do it this year, hopefully. Um, depending on how bad off it is, I may have to wait till next year, next spring, and do it then instead. We'll, we'll have to see. Which would kind of suck because it would be like basically starting over since we've been working on it um, all year. You know, I started in February working on getting myself to the point where I could run a marathon. Ran a half marathon, which is good, but I haven't uh, gotten beyond that. And I don't want to have to start over again when spring comes around because... It bas that's basically what it'll be because there's no way that I could be running you know, January Feb well, I guess February probably good, December was pretty bad last year too, I remember I didn't run much for either of those months and so when February came around it was like, yeah, I can run a mile and a half now, woo um, and yeah I'll have to be running a lot farther than that if I want to uh able to go on a marathon a few months later so yeah hopefully I can handle getting myself back to it for um 
this year, so we can do it in October. It's October 19th, I believe, is where when this one runs uh, this year, so hopefully... And hopefully it's not too cold. That would suck. Go out there. I know, it, I think it'll be similar to the half marathon where it's halfway up the mountain, first part of it. So I might have to be wearing like long, long pants and a long shirt to be able to, uh, to run that thing. I don't know what to see. Um, anyways, yeah, so I'm still trying for it, but yeah, I've, I've sucked for a while and, and I'm trying to, uh, turn that around. We'll have to see how that goes. Um, I've been discouraged with writing too for some reason. I, I don't I don't understand why. I, I have no way to put my finger on it. But the last thing that I wrote was the triple word score contest uh, story that I did, which was um, I thought kind of a fun idea. But I think the stupid I don't know who came up with a stupid freaking. Uh, rules for the contest they made it basically impossible to write a really good story because you get a good idea and then you have to make it too short so those idiots that were behind the rules for the contest really blew it um, hamstrung all the authors so that they couldn't make a really good story they had to make a short story instead oh yeah uh but anyways, yeah, that... Ooh, sorry about the yawn, folks. It's actually 3 a.m. Um, I'm on my way to work doing a 3 a.m. shift um, this morning. And uh, that's not my normal shift, and so I'm very tired. Could not get to sleep last night early enough to get enough sleep to not be tired. Uh, so, sorry if I yawn. I may do it again still. Um, but yeah, I don't know why, but I I just have not had any desire to do any writing, and it makes me feel lousy. Um, I, I need to, to do something. I need to overcome my blahs. Every goal that I have in life is just blah right now. I'm not doing any of it. I'm not working towards it. I'm not getting anywhere. Um, I'd really like to, and I've talked with Rish about it recently, you know, I'd like to be able to go somewhere with it, you know. I see all sorts of people, authors that we've published on the Doom Steve, um, friends that uh, I've met by way of the Doom Steve, and I guess also an author that we've published on, you know, different people that have uh, decided to put their stuff out um, by way of just an ebook, which is, you know, a, a cheap and relatively painless way to publish your stuff, uh, to self-publish your stuff that, you know, doesn't, you know, put you in debt to your eyeballs to try and get it out there. You know, you don't have to publish a bunch of books that costs a ton of money to do and then find a way to get them to people. Just you know, you make a file and then you upload it to a, a service where people go to and uh, it's super cheap. And on top of that, there's now a, pl a place that can get your e- your, not your e-book, sorry, your audiobook version of it onto Audible for people to buy too, which seems unnatural for Rish and I because we're already doing, you know, podcasts and readings of our own stories all the time. So if we just uh, were to do that, get them by way of ACX onto Audible, you know, both of those are just natural things that we should be doing. <sighs> and we haven't. Um, Andy Dilbeck, who's a listener, volunteered to make files for us. And we made a file of a story me and Rish put together as a, a collection where it was a story that we both happened to write, kind of a broken mirror story, 
Rich mentioned an idea, and I decided I was going to write a story based on that. And then he also, it turned out, wrote a story based on that without telling me. And there we had an a obvious collection that we could make. And Andy put together a file for it, and we couldn't figure out how to get it to work. I finally figured out what the problem was, though. Um, I was trying to get the file to my Kindle so that I could look at it, and it wouldn't, it, it just never would show up. No matter what I did, it wouldn't show up. I tried to upload it, and that didn't work for some reason. I tried to just stick it on my my tablet, and that wouldn't work. It didn't open in Kindle for some reason, which I couldn't figure out why it would do that, but it didn't. Um, and he suggested that I email it to my Kindle, and so I tried that, and it never showed up, and just kept never showing up. And I just discovered the other day that Kindles are, uh, they only allow you to get an email from a certain uh, email address to prevent you from getting tons of spam on your Kindle. And I just discovered that, and that I was sending things from the wrong email address that I had. And so I made another email address um, into a safe to send to Kindle email address. And now I got it, and I, and I looked at it, and I uh, have seen at least one thing that needs to be fixed on it. Um, but yeah, I need to, that's one thing, I, we're about to go to Canada as a uh, family vacation. And I am, I have decided that I am going to freaking use this time that I finally have to be super productive. So I've printed out like all the triple word score contest stories so that I can read them while I'm there. I've printed out a couple other stories that I've got that I'm supposed to have read already. Um, and I'm bringing along that Kindle file so that I can read it through and see if there's any problems with it and make sure that, uh, that uh, it is all good and I could send Andy all the things that need to be uh, fixed on it and then yeah, we can put it out. Because I think that's one of those things that might really happen and Rich was telling me, he's been telling me for a long time that that's the way he thinks it is too, that if we get one thing out there and we see that it does well, then we'll be motivated to do that more and more and more. If we put it out there and it does crappy, then maybe we'll be demotivated. But uh, we're not going to consider that possibility. Um, but yeah, I mean, I I have stories that are written, ready to go. You know, all they need to do is just be put somewhere. Um, and I could totally do that uh, if I had a little, you know, motivation. Uh, yeah, there's, there's just the... Uh, a small learning curve, I suppose, of figuring out how to make it into a, a Moby file, um, which I'd like to learn to do on my own so I wouldn't have to tell Andy every time, oh, do this and do that and do this and do that, because I'm sure by now Andy's probably sick to death of, bother, of trying to work with us too, considering how much we drag our feet. But yeah, it's uh, that and getting the account set up um, all it would take, I think, to, to get going. So, yeah, we'll see uh, if we can get that going. If, my, if I can take that Canada trip, which is always dull, and me sitting around a lot of the time doing a lot of nothing, uh, hopefully I'll be able to take that and turn that into me doing something and getting some things accomplished. Uh, getting some shows ready too. That's another thing is I've got a show that I've been meaning to listen to forever and provide the producer with comments because there's things that need to be changed and just haven't been able to. It's been like six months. I'm a freaking piece of crap. 
six months, the guy's probably thrown the project away and, you know, forgotten that he's ever even worked on it, to tell you the truth. But uh, I'm hoping that's not the case. I'm hoping I'm not too late. I'm going to re listen to that one and pro provide notes for this person uh, while I'm on this trip as well. And, so, and anything else I can think of. I've been trying to think of every possible thing that I could do while I'm there. Uh, because, I, you know, I won't have all the responsibilities for once, you know. This week, we have to move out of our apartment that we've been living in while we've been waiting for our house to be ready. Sadly, our house still isn't quite ready. The house is basically done, but the financing is not 100% through. It's got to be processed by government agency or something like that and uh, then we'll be able to uh, have everything ready to go but yeah it's not done in time we have to move out of our apartment we're basically gonna be homeless um, we're gonna use our trip to Canada as a way to not have to worry about where we're gonna live until this darn freaking thing is ready and uh, but there's some days. Ah, sorry, darn it. Try not to yawn. But there's some days before we can, uh, we before we're heading out to Canada that we will not have a home. We're gonna stay at my dad's house for a couple of nights, and then at my sister's house for a few more nights. Cause she is also going out of town, which is really handy because that way we can just be at her house and not bother her. Um, so yeah, it's going to be interesting, and, and we, you know, we got to deal with moving out. We're trying to get all the stuff packed again, and we're gonna, again not moving it into our house like we assumed. You know, we were hoping the way it was supposed to go was that we would be able to use this whole last week or more that we live in this apartment to move stuff slowly into the new house. Instead, no. It's gonna have to be an all at once kind of a thing, and it's gonna have to be when we have no home to live in. So we'll see how it goes. But yeah, this kind of stuff, uh, just living in this apartment has been a real problem for productivity too, just because we're all cramped in too much. Computers in the bedroom, so if I'm working on it when, uh, my wife, you know, she goes to sleep early because she always does this early morning shift. So, you know, I, in there trying to use the computer while she's trying to sleep, which doesn't go over very well usually. Um, so I do it as little as possible, which means I get stuff done as little as possible. So, uh, just kind of a funk that I've been in and uh, trying to figure a way out of it. Um, if anybody has some encouraging words for me that they'd like to offer in the comments, that would be nice, because I'm not feeling encouraged, I'm feeling discouraged. So, anything that you have? But yeah, it's, uh, the, the house is pretty exciting though. We were at it just the other day, we were doing our final walkthrough or whatever where we look for any things that need to be fixed before we move in. Um, pointed them out to the guy so he could tell the builders, so oh, you need to do this, do that. And uh, yeah, it's, it's really cool. We walked through it. It's all ready. The carpet's in. The, you know, I got to look at the little room that will be my study that me and Rish will use to record in. Um, that's pretty exciting. I, I'm actually thinking I may have Rish come out with me because we can get into the house now. Uh, I, I think I may have Rish come out with me and I'll show him the house before we move in. And then we'll do, uh, record some of the last few episodes of our worst marathon ever that we're working on right now. And, uh, we'll record some of those probably in our new room just as a, I don't know, an inaugural hooray for us. We have a place to record it. Although 
it'll probably be a few weeks after that before it's ready to record in again. Um, but yeah, that'll be interesting and fun. Hopefully I can do that tonight. Since I'm doing this crappy morning shift, I'll probably be able to do it tonight. Um, work on moving the house and stuff earlier and then uh, when it comes time for my wife to go to bed I'll just go meet Rish and we'll do some recording and uh, yeah that I'm excited about hopefully uh, that'll be a kind of a new lease on life this new house and we won't even be leasing it we're gonna buy it how about that a new loan on life anyways yeah, so I'm kind of excited about that. Hopefully that'll be uh, something that helps me to turn things around, get going. Uh, but anyways, yeah, um, I've been rambling on for many minutes and saying very little, I suppose, which is, I, I guess that's kind of par for the course on the ankle cast. Um, hopefully, uh, next time I, I, I do another show, I will be uh, able to report on, you know, a story that I started writing while I was in Canada, and maybe finished while I was in Canada. We'll have to see how much time I can put into it, but I will do my best. And I can tell you about all the running that I did in Canada to get myself back in shape, and we'll see what shape I am in. Um, so yeah, look forward to the ankle cast, whatever, now I've, it's been so long I've forgotten what number we're on. But look forward to the next ankle cast coming up down the line. And uh, yeah, we'll see you soon, folks. Thanks for listening to another ankle cast. Ciao, ciao.